Hi, it's Mike Thornton, and today I want to show you the new version of Sigmod from New Gen Audio, which now has support for VST3 plugins. Back in May 2018, New Gen Audio released Sigmod, which is a simple yet deceptively clever channel ops type plugin that was largely limited by your creativity, but with one notable exception. You couldn't insert any plugins into the signal path within Sigmod. Instead, you needed to route the signal out, then process in plugins or using your DAW's mixer window, and then back in to Sigmod if you needed any more channel ops type work. But with the latest release of Sigmod, which New Gen Audio have announced today, you can now insert an instance of any plugin that you have on your DAW system in VST3 format. Now, I'm not going to spend time going over the basics of Sigmod. If you want to know more about Sigmod, then do check out Julian's review. But let's go straight into an example Julian used in one of his tutorials where he showed how to process audio in MS. He had an instance of Sigmod to convert the conventional left-right stereo into MS, then a plugin in this case, an instance of New Gen Audio's SEQ EQ plugin, and then another instance of Sigmod to convert the MS back into stereo. But with this new version, we can now do this in just one instance of Sigmod. So if we go into the setup, and then we can clear the default modules, start again, and Let's have an instance of mid side, and then we'll have an instance of this new module, insert VST3 plugin. And there's two options here. We can either use it in stereo mode or dual mode. And because we want to process the M and the S, the mid and the side separately, I'm going to use the dual option. And then finally, we need another instance of the mid side module to bring the MS back into stereo. So, okay, that's the setup window done. So here we go from left to right. So we start with the left, right audio. We then have the MS module. So left, right in, mid side, MS out. Then we've got two slots. We've got a plug-in slot for the M path and a plug-in slot for the side path. And then finally, an MS module to bring the audio back to left, right. So let's take a look. If we click on here, because we want to process the side signal path, you can see that we get a list of plugins that I've got in my VST3 plugin folder. Not a huge list, because as a Pro Tools user, I tend not to install VST3 plugin versions. But I do have the new gen SEQ here, so we can select that. And then we can use this gear wheel icon to display the GUI for this particular plugin. And then we can get into the presets. And if I go to the Sigmod demo and then select a preset. So there we go. There's the preset that I set up earlier. And so if we now insert that into our side channel. Let's take a listen to see what it sounds like. So if we just bypass. You can hear that the stereo width, the S signal has brightened up because of this EQ path and of course I can make that a bit more obvious. So again, bypass. And back in again. So there we go. I've now been able to replicate Julian's example in his tutorial, but with just one instance of Sigmod. Instead, where in his example, there was one instance of Sigmod, then the EQ plugin, and then another instance of Sigmod to bring it back. So we'd already used up three of our insert slots in the DAW. Now, of course, we could take this all a stage further. 
So what we could do just for the fun of it is take a look in my uh, plugin folder and we'll go for the focusing EQ from Softube. So we'll turn on the plugin. So that's now inserted into the M and then we'll start listening. And now we can bring in some saturation. And then we can change the new gem plugin to, let's say, the Abbey Road box. And then let's wind that in. Bypass. So there we go. And there you have it. An example of how we can use the new version of Sigmod from New Gen Audio with the new VST plugin module. To find out what we think of this plugin, then do check out the full article on Production Expert. I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.